goal is to help people prioritize, organize, and simplify their lives at work and at home. It's a very simple mission. We want to take the noise out, get rid of the clutter, and help you see those organizational things that you really need to focus on and simplify it down to one thing that you need to do every day. What is that one secret that's going to make your life different? And today I hope you'll be able to feel it. Because what happened to me is that at the age of 41, I was heading one direction in life and I had a good job. I've been doing the same job for 30 years and I liked it. And I was going this direction in life and I was doing good things and I was above average. And I woke up one morning and there was a line in the sand. And I realized that there could be more to life. And I wanted to experience exactly what that more was. I was slightly out of shape. I was a little bit overweight. I liked my job, but I didn't love it. I wasn't engaged. I didn't have that burning desire. I didn't have that mojo. Where did it go? And how could I get it back? And I realized just in that instant that my life could change if I would just take one step forward and forever I could go a new direction. And that's why I'm here today, is to share those things with you. How's your Outlook calendar look right now? Do you have a lot of free time to do the things you love or do you feel that squeezing pressure always saying, I don't have any more time? And so what we're gonna talk about is that we don't have any more time. That's the biggest mistake I made. For 25 years as a time strategist, I tried to tell people that they could be more efficient. I'm gonna stand before you today and say it's not about efficiency. I don't even want you to be more efficient. I want you to get the, the clutter out of your life and do less. I want you to stop trying to do so much. I want you to do the things that matter most and start at the top of this and say, what are my priorities? What are the things that I value most in life? And what is my purpose in life? What are my God-given gifts? What do I do best? Am I mathematical? Am I analytical? Am I a leader? Am I a thought leader? Am I creative? Do I like to design? Am I great at, at bringing people to leather, together? Am I a collaborator? And then what are your life goals? Where do you want to be not just 90 days from today, but at your funeral, what do you want to have people saying about you? And when we take the time to prioritize and clarify those things, and then we create our daily high value activities around those things, because what happened is the first time I did my priority sheet and I held this list in my hands, and then I held this list up against my Outlook calendar and I compared the two, and I said, how much time am I spending focusing my life on these things? And how much time am I spending on my Outlook calendar focusing my life on things that don't matter, that don't even move the needle for my company? They were completely incongruent. And all I've done over the last six years is try to make my Outlook calendar be more in alignment with this and our sales have gone through the roof. And I'm gonna interrupt us here just to get your blood flowing. And I'd like you to take yourself and just stand up for just a moment and just stretch your arms just as high as they'll go across your head. Just stand up all around the room. Just stretch as high as you can. Oh, it just feels good just here at the end just to stretch. Stretch as high as you can. Now see if you have anything left. Stretch just a little higher. Stretch just a little more. Ugh. Doesn't that feel good? Okay, now you can sit down. You know, it's so interesting as I go around the country and I ask people to stand up and stretch. They do. They stretch and they, they give us this stretch and that, that's kind of where I was for 41 years as I was going through life doing what I thought was my best. And then I had someone look me in the face and say, Allison, what I want from you is just this much more. Can you just give me just a little more? And I think the difference between an ordinary life and an extraordinary life is this much difference.